won't be long. But the scripture says his strength is made perfect in our weakness. That's why I can lift my hands and say, Lord, you are my high strength. Strength like no other. Except to say, strength like no other. What did we do? We just. take me from my two babies. I'm newly married. And anyway, I went in prayer. I had to forget all of it. I fell on my face before God. I began to cry out to God. The, the Lord brought forth a healing in the house that blew my mind. It's still blowing my mind right now. Through all that praying, God came forth with a healing. I, I went on doing my housework and doing little things, checking on the babies and cooking. And I was at the store getting ready to cook. And the Lord brought my attention. You sin. I was frying chicken, I think. And the Lord said, you're seeing, you see the chicken. Because at the, at the moment, I forgot to tell you, I was seeing four, four Jasons, four Denise's. There's the only one, four Sister Bacon, yeah. four Sister Evelyn, four of my husband. Yeah. I said, no. And I, he was doing my face at that time. I said, babe, I said, he doing my face. I said, I don't, I, I'm not seeing right. He said, you're not seeing right? I said, no, babe, I'm not seeing right. I said, I'm seeing four. He said, four, I see four of you. I'm not seeing one. He said, oh, Lord. He said, you know what? I said, he, he said, what you want to do? You want to stay home? You want, we were getting dressed to go to church. I said, no. I said, I'm going to church. I said, if I can just hold you, you just let me hold your hand and get me to the car, get me to the church. And that's, on, that's on, what I on. did. But I, I had to fight the thing, fight the thing. That's right. I said, I can't dwell on it. I cannot dwell on it. This is brand new. I ain't know nothing about MS. I ain't know nothing about no sicknesses. I was out in the streets praying and helping people to get saved and yeah, introducing yeah, them yeah, to Christ yeah. and prayer. That's all that I was doing. Then the devil wanted to come with this. Mm -hmm. I said, I can't dwell on this. I just can't. I can't dwell on it. Mm -hmm. My babies were young. Yeah, it was too. My babies was young. And they came, I came home. I didn't even say nothing to them. I laid down and they was like, my daughter, which is old. She said, Mom, she said, you all right? You said, I said, Mommy, don't feel too good. I said, but what? We know about prayer. Yeah, mommy, we know about prayer. And I got them. Her brother, James, mommy says she don't feel good, but we, we know about prayer. We're going to pray. I said, yep, we're going to pray. Just keep telling the Lord, bless mommy. Heal mommy. And we went like that. And holding on to the power of prayer, God did a miraculous thing in my life. Oh, and on, I, I on, can't on, stop praising. I told him this morning, so thankful. I cannot stop praising you because you've just been that good. You've been that good. He is a healer, saint. I don't care what the sickness is. He is a healer. And you know, with this story, Jesus raised and told the man what to do. Where the man obeyed. The man obeyed Jesus. And he went on. The Bible said he got about a hand. He picked his power. Walk and go on. He did what the Lord told him to do. And going on through the story, the man ended up going to visit the temple. He walked on out at one point said he was walking, galloping all around because he had gotten his healing. They, this, what are they? They came up to him and said, who? Mm -hmm. Why? You, you got your palate. Uh -huh. yeah, oh yeah, I got my palate. I did. Yeah. And who did, who did this for you? Right. A man came to me and told me, get up my palate and walk. Yes, and I been healed yes, ever sir. since I've been healed. Yes, so he sir. said, Who did it? Who is this man? I don't know the man. Ain't that like us? Uh, you get the thing going. You ain't worried about who it is. You worried about what has happened in your life. This man got his healing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He go got his healing. Go this go man ahead. got his healing. And so he said, All I know, sir, yeah, I was yeah, sick. Yeah. And this man told me to take up my come palate on, and on, walk. And I did it. And you, you see me. I'm walking. I'm walking. I've been healed. I don't know the man. Sir, I don't know who the man is. Yes. I got 
heal him. Yes, and, sir. and then he want to say, yes, but sir. sir, okay, you walking. I remember you was laying out on the sand. I remember you doing that for, you've been doing that come for on, a long come time. On, come on. And you don't know the man. He said, I don't know the man. I don't know the man, but I'm healed. I'm, I'm healed. healed. And that's the only thing I want to dwell on. I'm healed. I'm so healed. I say to you, church, I'm not done for a long time. Mm. I want you to know. It doesn't matter how long. This man is a prime example. It was 38 years. 38 years that he laid on that sand and on those rocks. was not an easy lay. But he began to hear the voice of God say, get up. Take up your pallet and walk. Sometimes you got to listen, Cliff. God is speaking to you. That's his voice. He telling you, get up. You've been still in that we're getting a position. We want to get comfortable. Oh, I don't want to get up. Oh, no, I can't get out this bed. Oh, I feel better. If I get up, I know I'm going to fall. If I get up, I ain't going to be able to walk. No, get in the place that you're ready now to get up. You got to get up. You just got to get up. And that's why I had to get up, get around my kids that came around. They were not young. I, I let them know, Mommy is sick because I'm laying down. That ain't me. They say I'm laying down. Like children, they get around you. Mommy, you don't feel good. Mommy don't feel good. But look, mommy know prayer. Mommy taught you prayer. What I want you to do, you tell the Lord, heal mommy. And and uh, Lord, I'm getting my kids messed up. Christian was the oldest. James was the youngest. And she said, James, mommy not feeling good. I remember it very well. Mommy not feeling good. And I was laid out. I couldn't really do nothing. And I was laid out. And I said, Christian said, James, mommy not feeling good. But mommy said, we know how to pray. And she told us to pray, God, heal mommy's body. And they got together and just started saying, God, like they even said, God, heal mommy's body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the Lord worked through the prayers of the yes, children yes. and me praying and pastor praying. And today I am completely healed yes. of MF. And I still think and praise God. Yes, I tell you, God is a prayer answering God. Yes, he yes, does sir. awesome things. He moves in awesome ways. Yes. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. That's one right there. That's my son. He was the little one. And I'm so thankful. I don't know. My daughter's supposed to came, but whatever. God is here, and that's what matters. God is here, and to God be the glory. God is still moving. I'm telling you, saints, he has not stopped healing.